Have you ever had a sudden rush of emotion? Happy to sad, mad to disgusted? I'm Nicole Maxheimer, and welcome back to another 300 seconds of science. The hippocampus is the part of your brain that is in charge of emotion. This brain structure is fixed deeply in the temporal lobe of your cerebral cortex. Not only does the hippocampus regulate your emotions, but also your motivations, learning, and memories. The hippocampus is an S-shaped structure and can be identified as a layer of densely packed neurons. These neurons are what create your emotions, sending impulses to the brain and telling you how to feel. It acts as an evaluation center associated with behavioral inhibition, obsessional thinking, scanning, and spatial map formation. So why do we have emotions? In the beginning of time, emotions were just used to influence your behavior. If you feel afraid, you escape from danger. If you are happy, you relax. Our ancestors relied on their emotions for survival. While we still use emotions like this today, our emotions are more for making lifestyle decisions. Who to be friends with, what classes to take, or whether to fight back in an argument. There are other neurons in the hippocampus called mirror neurons. These neurons are active when you perform an action or when you see others performing the same action. Some scientists think mirror neurons will be key to explaining complex human processes, such as empathy and imitation. These neurons were only just discovered in the 1990s, so we are just beginning to understand them. But don't take your emotions for granted, because it is possible to lose them. In 1848, a man named Phineas Gage was working as a railroad worker, when an explosion blew a thin rod straight through the front of his head, and he amazingly survived. But he changed. He was soon having difficulty making decisions. The iron rod went in under Gage's cheekbone and traveled through his skull, coming out of the top of his head. It destroyed most of the front of the left side of his brain, including the hippocampus. He showed no reaction to emotional events and was unable to make personal or social decisions. If you lose your emotions, can't you just fake it? Sure, you can pretend to be happy, angry, or sad, but it is impossible to mimic an emotion exactly. For example, when you fake a smile, it is very hard to use all the muscles you use regularly while smiling. Your true feelings can be shown through your posture, body movement, and tone of voice. Someone who mimics emotion is usually referred to as a psychopath. A psychopath is defined as someone suffering from a chronic mental disorder with abnormal or violent social behavior. These individuals may fail to recognize other people's distress, have relationships that are shallow and fake, or fail to form genuine emotional attachments. Some famous psychopaths include Charles Manson, Ted Bundy, and Jeffrey Dahmer. While these men were all killers, not all psychopaths are violent, but they did all have one thing in common. Their neurons were not sending impulses to the hippocampus correctly. They were not producing the correct emotion and behavior. While no emotions may be bad, extreme emotions can also cause a problem in someone's daily life. There is a difference between normal sadness and extreme sadness. That extreme sadness can become depression, anger can become unprovoked aggression, and pleasure can lead to addiction. While feeling fear in a dangerous situation is normal, being too fearful can cause anxiety, phobias, and panic attacks. It may be that these complex systems within our brains may never be fully understandable. What do you think about the way our brains work? What did you find most interesting about emotions? Let us know by leaving a comment or sending us a tweet. Also, don't forget to give us a like on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to 300 Seconds of Science on YouTube, and give us some love on Instagram. I'm Nicole Maxheimer, and that was 300 Seconds of Science. And now you know, so go out, enjoy life, and stay curious. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. Do you want to gain experience in video production, professional social media, or working with real clients? Visit the UA School of Communications online or follow us on social media to learn more. ZTV, make media, make a difference.